<laughs> Child, what's going on? Man, you already know it, the Pyrex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been, it's been all over the internet. This is 50, um... Everywhere, World yo star, raps, yeah, everywhere. World star, you been putting a lot of work in, man. Shit, thanks to you, I appreciate that. Real nah, tough. man, thanks to you. This is the big homie right here, man. He, Definitely. Thank, so, thank you, Jay. Like you have records going, Rump Shaker. Like I'm just sitting here thinking about being like, <laughs> I was mad young when that record came out too, and I still. Matter of fact, like, child, let's take it back a minute. Let's take us back to when you was making that record with Teddy Riley. Like, how was it? Just explain the whole situation, how it went down, and all that. Damn. <laughs> <I'm> like damn <laughs> Shit um, Then we took the record apart It wasn't even called Rump Shake It was called Shake Your Rump Right So like the record sounded totally different The verses was different The whole record We, we just took a couple of pieces Restructured the beat mm-hmm. Then we did the beat again We did two versions Wow, wow. Yeah, and then like we, sp- I got both versions. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. we spent like forty eight hours on that. Wow. Like, you know, that was the, like when they did like the dub versions, instrumentals, the yeah. party mixes. Like, it was crazy, man. Was- would you say that would put you on the map? Yeah. Well, that was the first, actually, the biggest record I ever did. Period. You did like the likes of MC Light. You had like you have like, your discography is like. Four or five pages long. Yeah, like, that's yeah, a lot of checks. I'm trying, you know. Yo, he's, he's always, excuse him, checks, he's always counting people's money. Don't leave your wallet laying around, Jay. Nah, I'm, <laughs> we good. It's the big homie right here. So that know. was the biggest record. How, how, how much did that sell right there? Damn, the that's, single was um 2.5 on a single, and the album wow. was 1.7. What is it like now? Music doesn't do those numbers anymore but that was what what year was that this that was, was 92 92, 92 2.5 yeah. million yeah that's yeah. crazy wow Single, like it doesn't we don't do that well anymore unless it's it, digitally or like it's, it's, it's different now the yeah. business is is totally different can people, you explain people what? still sell to a certain aspect on certain audiences like mm-hmm. if an artist is from the underground and he figured out how to make a record crossover more than likely, he's going to, you know, if he has a big fan base, he's going to sell those units like Lil Wayne did. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the excitement and some people, when they've been in the game, it's not really exciting anymore. It, you know, they just have to keep giving people what they originally gave them, you know, to get them hooked. Do you think your style is, I mean, we're talking about, um, we started here, this conversation in 92, it's 2010, and you're still very much so, not just relevant, but, like, we are listening to you today, like, on the radio. Yeah. Um, do you think, what, what, how, why, like, how? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I study. I study the greats, you know what I mean? Um, I, I, I stay in the club. I stay in the street. Definitely do. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you got to keep your ear to the hood. You got to keep your ear to what's going on in the radio. You know, like, what I'm, made you come with the Pyrex mixtape? I mean, at the same time, you know, I'm promoting my new website, but it's like I'm doing this new thing, Raw and Uncut, um, hosted by K Slay. Okay, shout out to K. And shout out to my man K Slay for holding me down. Um, and I just wanted to give something to the people to let them know what I've been doing the past year. You know what I mean? As far as production, like I did a record on Snoop's album. It's on the international version. It'll probably be on the re-release. But people didn't didn't know I did it and it's, it's really a good record I think you know what I mean and um like I work with Lloyd Banks you know shouts out to Lloyd Banks Tony Yayo 50 Cent the whole G unit yeah and the, f- the freshman people. starter of the year basically Drake you have you worked on a on yeah. a song it's untitled right now yeah it, well I'm, I'm gonna find out. I just submitted some more stuff today actually so okay I, I, it's more than likely I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed you know I don't want to say what's gonna happen but it's looking good and you know Jim Jones I might have a single on him too. Okay. You cool. got a couple of records with Fifth on. I mean, you on his new album. You got the. Um, I, got, I got the invitation, the first record on Before I Self Destruct that went um, top album R and B albums number one and top uh, rap albums two weeks in a row, and it's officially certified gold. See, a lot of producers don't give a lot of unsigned artists the chance. What made you just say like, you know what, I'm gonna do an album, and just look for the next one? Cause like most, um, like you know, people they enter talent searches and stuff. And it's like, you know, the mission fees be like a hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to rape and they don't have access to actually real branded experienced producers. Like, you know, to give a demo, like you're like, Okay, you sound all right, but can you work on making a hit? And then they gotta go through all that process and then 
being in the studio and then trying to market themselves to get the buzz. So I'm like, let me figure something out that can have everything all wrapped up, you know, in one. You did, you did um a couple of records with Cameron too. Yeah, I, I worked with Killer. You know what I mean? That was that was a real <laughs> special time back then. You know what I mean? That's when I first really got with the Dips. You know what I mean? Shouts out to Santana, my man Jim Jones. You know, it was real different back then. You know, yeah. it was actually the the only platinum album he had. Okay. Really? You know, they they didn't really shout me out, but you know, it's still love. You know what I mean? It's like I did half the album. Wow. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. How many records you did on the album? Like six. Cameron. Yeah, it was that was a hot album, man. First album on rock. Went platinum, number one R&B album, you know. It was a pleasure working with him at that time, you know what I mean? At that time, yeah. yeah. And now you think it would be a little different? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with whoever wants to work with me. Okay. You okay. know what I mean? Who do you wish you could work with, like, or hope that in the future you could work Happy, with? But right now, you know, Drizzy Drake, that's an interesting album I'm looking mm -hmm. at. Um, uh, Storm P. Shouts uh -huh. out to the Storm <laughs> Peak. <laughs> yeah, you already know we're going to make that happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, Ashley Minaj. Yeah, yeah. Ashley Minaj. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of new people. Sorry. Sorry. What advice do you give to um, producers right now coming up? Since they, you, you know, that's kind of crazy. You never played an instrument. And, you know, we was talking to Rockwell how he said he had to the come in tunes with the time. Mm -hmm. And that's what you said, too. Oh, yeah, he, he's a monster, too. That, yeah. that dude, man. He, he was like, you know, he had to tell Eric Sherman, like, yo, you got to get to what it is because it's like computer. <laughs> this yeah. dude's making beats on computers and, yeah. and selling records. Like, what do you think about, like, the whole Soldier Boy making, you know? I mean, I respect Soldier Boy. Like, it's two parts of it for me. It's like, I feel like he's a businessman. Okay. You know, I respect him as an artist and everything. What he's doing, I may not go and buy that kind of stuff to play yeah. in the car or in the crib but I respect him you gotta respect that little guy cause he's like he's, As a he's, he's rich you know what I mean he, he made hits he made a hit yeah you gotta respect people who make hits no matter what have you ever been on like the Fruity Loops and, uh... nah I don't like Fruity Loops that's one thing I don't like okay I'm, I'm on I'm, like I'm into logic I mean it's you know it's people own preference yeah but the you know the logic it's like it's so advanced and you know my man Teddy Riley tried to put me on back in like 93, 94 about wow. that and I was like, you know, whatever. Stick with the <laughs> hardware, MPC, you know. It ain't about what you got, it's how you use it. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. So who's your five top rappers? rappers? Yeah. Kiss. Kiss is probably one of the best that I'll ever rap. That I'll ever do it. You know what I mean? Um, Drake. It's like. What about Kid Cudi? I mean, he's, he's good at what he does. Like, you know. <laughs> no, no way. She's a super Kid Cudi. No, I, I like Kid Cudi. Day and night was hard. That was a hit record. <laughs> I, I just, you know, I got to, like me, I'm, he's good I stay him. listening to, you know, like, I, I'll I'll play Kiss or, or, or Fifth <laughs> in, the, in the car. What about, thing, um, you know what I'm saying? Jay Electronica. Oh, he's a monster. He's a beast, He's right? a monster. Yeah, he, he's definitely there. I mean. What do you think, like, you know, I know he's getting a lot of props. Like, I heard one record, you know. You're talking about I Jay, liked Le it. Jay Electronica? Yeah. I mean, I want to see what's going to happen. Yeah. I like what he's he's doing. You know what I mean? But, I mean, you got to be like Drake these days. I ain't going to lie, man. That kid figured it out, how to make it hot. You know what I mean? He got everything wrapped up in one. A lot of these people get it twisted like, yeah, I can spit, I can rap. Dude is like... He figured out the way to make a hit. It's all about melody. From your Ja Rules to your 50s to your T-Pains to, to him, it's like, if you listen to his chorus, it's the chorus that sticks out. But he, he still raps witty like Jay-Z, Kanye, and whoever.